Hello and welcome to our SAP Web Module Full Programming uh, video no lesson number four, named at uh, Presentation Server Files. We will focus on how we can create files and how we can read uh, files uh, to the server. First of all, let's find the objectives of this video. Participant will able to describe how local full files are proceed in an inbound SAP interface. We will write an ABAP program that process file located on the presentation server. Here is the example of how the files are located and how the users can read the files. In this chapter, we will learn how to process files on a presentation server. Uh, there are basically there are three tier of architecture lies in every uh, in every client server environment. First of all, the database server, where all the data is stored, and uh, the file data can also be stored on the data server. Each and every uh, everything and which we want to be permanent in the database we use to save into the database server the second thing is uh, application server where all the application logic where all the application source uh, of every program and every transactions source code and other files important files lies into the application server the third one is presentation server presentation server can be any desktop uh, terminal or the, or any uh, terminal or any uh, client side where user can interact and where user can send the uh, request or uh, read read any uh, files data easily. Use of internal table. The use of internal table is very uh, very very important in respect to reading the file or in respect to uh, load our file into the server uh, when we want to uh, create uh, when we want to uh, upload a file to the uh, to the server we will have to um, we will have to transfer all the contents of the uh, file to the internal table and then the then then we transfer the data of internal table to the database secondly if we want to read uh, the uh, read the uh, read the contents of a database and we want to download um, download uh, all the information uh, in our local uh, local machine uh, we will have to use uh, use as internal table where we um, where we load all the data of uh, our uh, table uh, tables our database tables to our internal table and then the contents downloaded in the shape of file to the user. In SAP, we use GUI download to create a local file. It means uh, any data, anything, or uh, if we want to download uh, the data of uh, um, any uh, particular information, we will use GUI download file where we give uh, the file name, the file type, and uh, um, the append structure and write field separator. Where either it is, it can be a comma, or it can be the other uh, separators which are available. In our importing uh, parameter, the we will we will have information about how many bytes are transferred and uh, how many you um, how many uh, you trans internal table um, into tables uh, and uh, what is the status of the internal table after creating the file secondly uh, uh, if we want to read local file uh, into the SAP program, we will use GUI upload upload uh, function call, where we give uh, the file name, where which we want to read, and its type, and then 
uh, we will have importing importing parameter file length it, give, it will give the file length uh, file length to the user and the tables uh, which will have the same structure of the uh, file and uh, we can name it data underscore tab and uh, all the all the contents of the file uh, will be will be upload into our table uh, call data uh, data table which is internal table which we already discussed uh, if we summarize our video uh, we will to create a local file you must transfer the contents of the internal table to read a local file you must read the contents into an internal table its main internal internal table has a vital role in reading and uploading the file to the application server you can use the function module gui download to create a local file hope you uh, hope you learn something from this video bye bye